Hi everyone. In this video, I, I would like to explain you or show you how to source data from FAO stat. Those who do not know, FAO stat is a website maintained by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or it's called FAO. Uh, that information, that website actually contains thousands of information on agricultural production, consumption, and trade. Also input use of agriculture, like uh, land use, uh, herbicide, pesticide information, those informations are available at the country level, also at the region level. So let's go how to search this um, information in uh, FAO stat. Let me share the screen. Um, let me go to new share. Uh, this is, yeah, we are here. Um, simply, if you write in this Google search, FAO stat, F-A-O-S-T-A-T, this will take you this, the first result. Just click on this, we are here, FAO stat. And you click on explore data. This is the data set. All the, all the information, I should say, almost everything you can get from here. And it's a time series information. And you know what is time series information? The information on data varies across time, like yearly, monthly. So in FAO stat, you can get data mostly in yearly form. Let's say we're interested to see the production of rice uh, in some specific country or globally or anything, whatever you want to choose, any specific country or any reason is possible. Let's say Bangladesh is the third largest rice producing country in the world and we'd like to see the rice yield of Bangladesh. So let's say we put here, we want to see area harvested, we click yield, we click production, we click, we're not interested to see the stock and producing animal stock and no need. And if you go a little down, you can see this, which year we want. So in FAO stat, the year starts from 1961 and it ends around 2021. And it every year it updates. So let's select all. Or I can clear all and I can say, no, I only want to see the information for year 2021. It's also possible to select only one year. But let's say we select all year, select all and here, we're interested to see the temporal changes of rice area yield and production in Bangladesh. So we we'll, we'll write rice and select rice. Here, I'd like to explain here is that I only select here Bangladesh, but you know, you can select all, select all, all countries in the world, it will come. Or you can go for by reason. Let's say I'd like to see at the world level, or I'd like to see let's say Africa, or I'd like to see Asia or Oceania, those information are available. Even there are some special group, for example, European Union, uh, least developed country, uh, landlocked countries. So these are the information available. So it depends on your interest or your target, which country, which region, which special group you are interested to see, which variable. So here almost you can get all information. Let's say if, if you're not interested for rice, Let's say we are interested for wheat. Yeah, wheat is here. Or I'm interested to see sorghum. Sorghum, sorghum is happening. So let's go. So in this way, you can choose your uh, the crop that you are interested to see. Let's say we are stick to rice and we selected all year. We select Bangladesh here in the country or region. I'm just deleting world. And we Ticked here area, yield, and production quantity. And we say download data. Data is here already. This is the data set. And um, let me share you this one. The new share. The data set is available right now for your work. So it shows that the first one, the first element is area harvested. The last one is production. In the middle, there is a yield information. Yeah. So one thing I'd like to say here is that this is in pure hectare. So if you want to convert this hectare into million hectare, then you simply divide by million. This is the million hectare. And 
you can play with this data. It is a yearly data. So the data starts from 1961 and it ends in, 19, in 2021. You can play with this data. You can make some nice graph or you can even work um, some estimation in time series data, uh, estimation method by plugging this data into time series. So that's the next videos I will make. So this is the uh, area information of rice for Bangladesh from 19... 61 to 2021. Thank you very much for giving me a patient hearing. I'm very new in uh, YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe my channel and please uh, encourage me by putting positive comments. Thank you.